and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing this gold and black smoky look with a pop of red we are going to be working out of the urban decay naked smoky palette so if you want to see how i got this look stay tuned and keep watching hi guys welcome back i am starting with my face already primed i use the becca ever matte poreless priming perfecter and i also use the smashbox photo finish foundation primer so it kind of leaves a, a white cast on your face so we are going to be working on this right eye my left your right we're going to be starting out using the la girl pro concealer and that is in the color beautiful bronze I'm going to use my Beauty Blender to go ahead and blend that out to my liking. And I am going to be setting that with the MSF in Deep Dark Matte Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm using a Sedona Lace 217 brush. Yeah, I had glue on my eye from the night before. I cannot sleep in lashes. I, I have to, ugh, I just can't do it. <laughs> so I'm using the Sigma E40 blending brush and along with the color brown script, I'm using that as a transition color. And I'm just gonna keep packing that on until I get the desired intensity. I am going to follow up with the Naked, the star of the show, the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Uh, we're gonna start off using the color Dirty Sweet. It's that pretty goldish color. Beautiful in the pan and it's even more beautiful on the skin I'm going to be packing that on my mobile lid boom boom that part that moves right there <laughs> packing that on my mobile lid with the Juvia's Place J1111 definer brush I'm also going to go in with that next color is that the next color no I think I'm going to use yeah, that's the next color, and that color is Radar. It's a less goldy color. It's got more brown in it. Um, once you kind of tilt your head from side to side, you can kind of see um, the difference in the color. But looking like dead on, it's like, okay, you just, what's the difference? <laughs> next, I'm going, to go in, I'm going in with Black Market. In person, it looks black. On screen, it looks bluish. So... It must have black in it because it called it black market. <laughs> so I'm going to dip that in using the Sigma E45, and that's a small tapered blending brush. Um, the smaller or the, the tighter the corner that you're working with in your eye or the more precise you need, the smaller the brush needs to be. So as you can see, I'm just kind of going in circular motions, and I'm pulling it forward. Um, next, I am going in with Makeup Geeks Corrupt, and it's a more intense blackish color. I don't know why the blacks doesn't. They don't show up on screen as intense as I would like. That little line right there that you see on my eye, you want to go ahead and blend that out. You don't want any harsh lines. I'm using the Sigma E35 tapered blending brush and I'm just going back over that until that line basically disappears. So you want to go back in with a clean blending brush and that's a Sigma E40. And I'm going and I'm just going to blend everything together so that, that everything just kind of blends seamlessly into the next. Going back in with Dirty Sweet, packing that back on with that Juvia's Place Definer brush to further define the lid. Again, I'm going to um, blend that harsh line out. Blending is a lot. I mean, it takes a lot. You just kind of keep going over it and going over it and going over it until you pretty much get the, the smoothness that you're looking for. So... I'm not doing a cut crease, so I really don't want that line to be as defined. So yeah, just constantly blending, checking, blending, checking, blending, and just keep doing that. Next, I am going with, with Max Cole Pencil, and this is in the color Feline. Excuse my eyes. Uh, my allergies were really bothering me this day. I mean, they were just itchy and red, and I don't know. So here I am tight lining. Tight lining is when you line the waterline on your upper eyelid. And I poked myself here. <sighs> yeah, that hurt. So this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's drying out, so I need to get some more. I don't know how long you're supposed to keep your mascara, but I think I'm at the end <laughs> of its life. Next, I'm using uh, what is it? Sigma's Eyeliner, and this is in the color Wicked. And I'm using that with the Sigma Small Angle Brush, which is the E65. I am going to work on my wing. Yeah, it was an okay wing day. It just, I don't know, you know, 
some days you have those days and some days it's just like no start over I need an eraser at the end of this I always say that because I really do feel that way so yeah I'm just using that to kind of make the wing look somewhat symmetrical and now I'm going to go in with lashes and these are the Coco Lashes by Goddess or is it Goddess Co Lashes by Coco? No, Coco Lashes by Goddess and I'm using the Duo um, Glue. I got that little device there from Ulta and it really helps me get those lashes on. That's a whole video, another video in itself so it kind of looks like it went on easy here but <laughs> No, it did not. Just when I think I have them all right, I look to the side and then they're not all right. But for the sake of this video, they seem to be working okay. Next, I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics pencil brush. It doesn't have a name. I don't even think it has a number, but it came in a set. And I thought it was cute. And I'm going in with that um, Makeup Geeks Corrupt. And I'm using that on my lower lash line to smoke it out. That is the color Brown Script by MAC. And I am using that, excuse me, I'm using that to kind of soften it out so that it's not so harsh. Here, this is where I am going to color correct with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in orange. It does great at working on your dark spots. Um, just kind of making everything go slim, seamless when you're working under foundation. I'm using um, a beauty blender to blend that out. Uh, and let's see, just keep blending and blending until you don't see any dark marks anymore, basically. <laughs> so today I am going to be using, what am I using today? My daughter was just distracting me so bad, but she was watching and asking questions and watching and asking questions, but yeah, I just kind of sped through that. <laughs> so yeah, more blending. And I should have used a different brush, I think, since like when I used a beauty blender, it, I don't know, it still comes through. The last time, it didn't come through as much, so I am using, no, oh God, yeah, oh my God, I thought I dropped it, I thought I broke it. <sighs> this is NARS, and I can't think of the name, but I will put it down in the description box. I am using a stippling brush by Juvia's Place, again, I can't remember the number, so I'll put that down, and I'm going over... Um, my skin I'm just kind of stippling that into place and as you can see it really pretty much just kind of makes my skin a little bit more even it's a little orangey but I mean I still like it I mean it's still one of my favorites I'm going with the MSF in deep dark and I am setting my foundation all over my face and I'm using a Juvia's Place powder brush I think that's J101 to do that Next, I am going in with the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. Yeah, these are all the colors that I used. Orange, uh, Beautiful Bronze, and now I'm using Fawn to highlight with. So, just always, as always, I'm gonna go and highlight under the eyes, with the nose, forehead, chin, Cupid's bow, all those areas, and down the sides of my face. Using the Beauty Blender, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Sometimes it gets dry and sometimes it does. I don't know, maybe it's just how my skin works. Maybe it was a humid day. It Something was going on because my eyes are all itchy. So I think it affects my makeup application. Is that crazy? I think it is. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Spray. I was going to say setting spray, setting powder. And I'm going to use this over that fawn. And this is going to help further highlight my face and also um, set my makeup in place so that the highlighted areas you see pretty much stay highlighted and they don't slide down my chin by the night. So, yeah, this really helps to kind of really kind of give you an airbrush finished. Next, I will be using a Juvia's Place contour brush. And I am going to be contouring with the True Complexion, what is it, Black Radiance uh, Contour Palette. And this is in the color Medium Dark. And again, I'm using the Juvia's Place Contour Brush in J105. And when you contour, you just want to contour up, like up, not down, because down will drag your face down. And we want to get those cheekbones up and out. 
yes that's what Patrick Star says yes here I am using I don't know what this brush is but I'm using it to wipe away all of the baking that I did with that Sasha buttercup setting spray oh my god doing voiceovers are hard you get like tongue-tied and you're you just I just feel like I'm rambling but oh, that's okay so back in with the MSF because that Sasha buttercup was pretty light on my face so I go in because it's a darker powder and just kind of tone it down some so that it's not like hello I see you no I see your powder and then I see you <laughs> so going back in with that um, BH cosmetic brush cosmetics brush and I am further smoking out there wasn't not enough smoke on it for me using max um, blush and raisin and I'm using the Sedona lace contour brush to put my blush on it's a pretty color next I'm going in with the covergirl Queens bronzer and this is in the color ebony and I'm going to start bronzing my skin to kind of bring more color and more warmth into my face and when you bronze you're just gonna go like in a backwards three and I'm using a Sonia Kashuk um, limited edition powder brush Next, I am going to be using Max Gold Deposit to highlight my cheekbones and the tip of my nose and all the places that you would normally highlight on your face to make it all glowy and all shiny. And yes, you just want to walk around with your head kind of tilted to the right just so you, everybody can see the glow and then you're, you wind up looking like a weirdo. So yeah, see that? Mm -hmm. Pretty glow. <laughs> um, next, I will start... Oh, here, I'm using the Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush, and this is the F35. Next, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I'm going to use that to set my makeup. That helps, it keep, helps to keep everything in place and keeps me from getting too oily. I'm going to follow up with Max Lip Pencil in Night Moth. I either use that or I use the color chestnut. Those are really the only two lip pencils that I have. I don't know. I guess those are the only two lip pencils that I need. Next, I will be using the Revlon Color Stay Lipstick in the color Love That Red. It is a beautiful, creamy color. It does exactly what I needed to do. It stays on. It's bright. It's beautiful. It's a pop of red, and I absolutely love this color. You can use it if you don't have any makeup on. Just use it. So this is my video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you in the next one. 20 minutes, two moments, stop talking. That's good. Like, I don't know, this hair is just, uh, it's just not, is it, is it all right? It's crooked. I don't know how it is even supposed to look in your head. <laughs> okay. But, I'm just Thank you.